of some like yesterday or how big did it feel to start seeing the ball go through the net? It felt great, you know. I still haven't been able to play the way I want to play personally, but uh, I'm not really concerned about myself. It's, it's more about the team, and uh, it was good for me to see the, you know, a different game of myself and uh, get my confidence back. Were you doing anything differently during during the shooting slump, working differently, or sticking with the same? Uh, uh, you can't really change much. Um, I've been in this situation before, so uh, we're 13 and two. You know, I think that's. Uh, you always come here trying to, you know, get better somehow, so when and it happened to me yesterday, you know. I could be on a, on a high strike or no, who knows, but uh, I'm, we're just happy that, that we won. That's more important. Is it easier to stay a little patient when you're going through a bit of a, a struggle, given the fact that the team is winning? No, I totally agree, you know. Uh, you don't get in, into a bad mood at all. You you just get back in, get back in the gym and keep working. I know you've talked about the depth of this team before, but how tough is it for the opposition to game plan for a team where there's seven, eight, nine guys who can beat you on a nightly basis? Well, it's tough, man. When you got when you have a guy like him, you know they're gonna have to really double team him and do a lot of different things for for the other guards to to be able to score. So we got a good team, man. It's pretty deep, pretty, pretty complete. You talk about Demar here having him on the court. Also, what about Luke? Oh, he's unbelievable. You know, he's doing a great job. He's he's doing him. <laughs> As my, my man said right here. He you know, Lewis is a really important asset for, for for our team. That's why we need we need somebody to score off the bench and he does he does it pretty well. I mean given that you're such a key person off the bench and up until last night I've been struggling, how is it that, that the team is still thirteen and two? Like what is going right that they can Somebody gets hurt, somebody gets a slow start, it doesn't seem to matter. I think we, you and I got the same eyes. You know, you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing. We're just playing great basketball as a team, and whether it's me or him or somebody else, we, we just, at the end of the night, it's about winning. And right now, we're the best team in the league. I know you guys just take it game by game. That's the job, but have you, do you ever find yourself thinking of where this could lead to, what the ceiling is? No, no, no. We, we just want to go game by game. We don't want to change anything, because if we change, then it won't be us. So we want to be ourselves, and we want to get ready for Dallas. We got ready for Dallas, and hopefully we, we, get a, we get another win at home. Offensively, what's the biggest difference for you guys as a team this year from, from last year? We got guys that can score. We got guys that can make plays. Um, like I said, we have, we have two starting teams in, in months. You know? I mean, we got guys that can come off the bench and, and do what he does on the starting line or so, okay, low. So we, we're just having fun, man. We, we don't want to change anything. We want to keep being humble and hungry and, and keep doing what we're doing. ESPN crunched the numbers, and they said ridiculously this early on, it's 100% chance of making the playoffs, 40% chance of winning everything. I know it's ridiculous, but do you just take all the hype as a compliment almost? You know what, we don't... We don't care what none of the ESPN said, honestly. <laughs> Call in your odds. I, yeah. I didn't have a problem with how you Nobody care what nobody say, nothing. We care about everybody in this, in this they got this Raptor jersey on, honestly. Everything else don't even matter to us. Man. For sure, for sure. I think that we don't want to be talked about, you know what I mean? We, we find like this. We, we know what we got. We confident. We got our confidence. So we, didn't, we don't really need nobody to talk about us, whether it's good or bad. We know what we're going to do, especially tomorrow night. Tomorrow, talk about uh, Lou and uh, having someone like that on the bench. Hey, he, uh, he's showing it. You know, he's been doing that his whole career. Uh, it's, it's amazing how. You know, he can go out there and run off the points he can in, in the short amount of time he's out there. Sure. But you now that's what's great. You know, the energy with the second group coming in is definitely amazing. And, you know, that's something that was something we was lacking last year, and we got a lot better than this year. And I think that's why we're able to close out a lot of games this year better than what we did last year. Have you ever been a part of a team that is so deep? No, this is, <laughs> I, I was talking to somebody else. I told them the best team I didn't play with by far. You know, not just basketball wise either. You know, personnel, everybody gets along. Everybody have great relationship with one another. And, you know, that goes a long way. You know, just speaking outside of basketball, the chemistry that we have is definitely amazing. Even your high school team? like Yeah, even my high school team. Jabbar, given that it's Thanksgiving down in the U.S. from a basketball standpoint, what are you thankful for this year? Having teammates like Grievous. <laughs> <laughs> that was sweet. That was sweet. Honestly, having teammates like all these guys in here because they make every every day easier, you know. Um, even even through the tough days, we, we find something to joke about, laugh about, have fun about. So you gotta be thankful to have a team like this because you know <clears throat> we all them been on bad teams and what it feel like to come in for work, you know, on the on the tough day and everything. So just to have teammates like this.
thing about us, we definitely lock in from every position, every every aspect of understanding personnel on who we who we going against. You know, from point guard to the center. You know, we're going to break down every every part, and you know, we're going to try to execute the best way we can on, on, on the defensive end. And you know, once we get that down fact, we understand we can score with anybody in the league. You know, mainly once we get that defense down fact, of knowing our personnel. You know, you know, we know we got a chance. And how many times did Coach Casey mention defense last night in the post game? Um, I mean, that's all he talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you don't hear him talking too much about offense. You know, as long as we do, we, we need to do on the defensive end. He give us the freedom to do whatever we need to do on offense. When, when Coach came in three years ago preaching defense, did you ever think that this team could become as good offensively in addition to the defense as you guys have, have become? Um. I know we, we continue to got better. Even the first year we was here, we, we you know we made strides and got better on the defensive end. And we understood if we stuck with it, you know, it was gonna pay off and as we got better talent on the team, as we continue to grow and understand him more and you know it did. Here's as good as the record is, you know, you've, you've had a lot of home games, you've played game teams on at the end of road trips, second night of back to backs. Like the schedule has worked out well for you guys. Is is thirteen and two really reflective of how good your team is? Well, in a way it does, but uh, we understand it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So, we, like I said, we don't want to, we know what we're playing for. We're pretty secure. We don't want to really go too high or too low. We're right there in the middle, and then what's, what's the most important thing for us right now is Dallas tomorrow. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to go ahead, ahead of ourselves and be like, oh, we, we're that good. We feel like we're that good, but we don't, we, don't, we want to do it on the court, you know what I mean? And, and we prove people wrong. That's, that's just who we are. We plan to, you know, not only to go to the playoff, but to make a run and probably play for a championship. That's why, you know, we. That's why we get better in the summer. That's why we got this thing together, you know, for something special. And I believe it. Do you? I'm working on it. <laughs> I mean, Demar, I'll ask you the same question. The record is amazing. The stats are amazing, but there has been some luck in the schedule too. I don't believe in luck. I, I don't. You know what I mean? I understand how hard I work, how hard this man work, how hard the work. other 13 yeah. players on this, on this team work, man. So, you know, um, when, when people say the luck they ain't to me, you know, I take it personally because I know how hard we work to be as good of, as we are, you know, honestly. And it's not no fluke. What we did last year wasn't no fluke, no luck. You know, it was the hard work. Everybody wanted it and everybody's dedicated to one thing. And that's what we are now. So I don't believe in luck. I'm saying that to win a game is lucky. But right, right. No, I, I know what you mean. Guys sick I mean, even even be. even with us, you know, we like playing on the road. We like going on the road, playing in other people's arenas, you know, and we get a thrill off that and going in other people's houses and beating them. So, you know, if you got that type of mentality, you, we can go a long way. So, 